Okay, so um, here's another question. It asks, how many tertiary hydrogens are there in the following compound? And then it draws that structure up there for you. So we're looking for tertiary hydrogens, okay? So tertiary hydrogens, what kind of carbons are those on? Tertiary carbons, okay? So that's what we got to look for is tertiary carbons. So carbon that's bonded to three other carbons, okay? So sometimes for me, this is not the easiest way to look at these structures. So I would draw it out if I were you, okay? So let's just do that. Um, and again, if you want to, you can draw out everything or you can draw it in bond line form, okay? I'll do both because I don't know. Um, I know we're learning, and I like bond line form, so I know y'all like this one much better. Um, so this C here, right, this C is attached to those two H's on that CL. This C is attached to two methyl groups. And we got a C that's attached to an H and a methyl group. And then another carbon that's attached to three methyl groups. Does that make sense? And honestly, you should be able to do it from here. But again, I like to just go ahead and draw it in bond line form. So one, two, three, four, five. So one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And on the first carbon, I just have a fluorine. On the second carbon, I have two methyl groups. Okay. On the third carbon, I just have one methyl group. And on the fourth carbon, I have three methyl groups. One, two, three. Like that. Okay. So now we're going to ask ourselves, well, where are the tertiary carbons? Okay. So, remember, a tertiary carbon is attached to three other carbons, okay? So when we look at this carbon, how many is it attached to? One. Just one. That's a coin. Yeah, that's all right. It's a good way to think about it, right? Uh, this one, this is a quaternary carbon, right? These ones, what are they? Methyls or primary carbons, right? Primary carbons, okay? This one here is a what? Tertiary, so that's the one we're looking for, right? And this one? Quaternary, okay, and these ones? Primary, right? So there's only one tertiary carbon, right? And tertiary carbons only have one hydrogen on them each, right? And let's just draw it out. That's right there. So the total number of tertiary hydrogens in this um, molecule is one. Okay. Any questions on that one? Um, Question. Uh -huh. you can, can you also look at it like if there's CH, like any CHs you could count and any CH2s you could count? No, so that, we would call it a methylene group, but we wouldn't call it a secondary carbon, okay? okay. Yeah, it's got to be attached to two other carbons, okay. okay? Is that what you were trying to ask? Yeah, I thought I saw somewhere like if you were to look at that, I'm um, sorry, the bond line form? Uh -huh. Like, yeah, so that's what, that's what um, I think Chelsea was looking at at the beginning. If you look at that, right, that looks like a secondary carbon, right? Yeah. But when we open that up, we see it's a chlorine, yeah. not a carbon, okay? okay? So it's a good way to kind of glance along. That's what I was trying to tell you. It's a good way to kind of glance along to check to see if they are there, but then you got to do a more detailed survey, okay? okay. Any questions? Does that make sense? Yeah, so anytime I see a CH3, doesn't that mean... That's that a methyl group. Primary carbon. Primary. And then if I saw a CH2, that would mean... Uh, well, so not necessarily. In this carbon. in this case, yeah, that's what we're saying. We okay, see sorry. a CH2 here, right? But yeah, it's not attached to two other carbons, okay? Yeah. So a secondary carbon has to be attached to... I mean, we we're looking for tertiary carbons yeah. in this one. But for your question, yes, this has to be attached to two other carbons, okay? This is a good question, though, okay? And it's... Confusing to a lot of people, okay? Any other questions on this one? Okay, wonderful.